Ladies and gentlemen, the following is scheduled for one fall. It is time for that way cool wrestling show! Welcome everybody to That Way Cool Wrestling Show. My name is Danny J. Hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the notification bell. And as always, share the channel. We have a lot of great content for you today. We're going to be talking about the implosion of the WWE. Sounds pretty dramatic. We're going to talk about all that stuff today. Real quick, let's get in with our guys. We got plenty of guys on here. We got Charles, Gemini, Gregory. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Yes, yes, we have Mad Mark Lindsay. I'm very upset today. No, <laughs> and we got special guests on today, host of That Week Wrestling Show Breakout, Johnny McIntyre. Arguably more of a man than I was last time I did one of your shows, but that's a story for another day. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Guys, we had a great thing. The funny thing is, I want to say this right up front. We, we, we do chats like off the air and stuff like that. And we said, that's how we set up these shows. And I said, they, they asked me, you know, Charles came to me with this particular show. And I said, all right, let's produce this and get it up. And I said, all right, here's the title of it. We're going to do this. And it's called the, the implosion of the WWE. Mark Wait, gets on. Get it up. Are you taking shots at me already? <laughs> all right. Yes. All right. So, so Mark gets on. He says, Wait a minute. Do you guys know something I know? Cause he got real nervous real quick when we said the title. Which is really funny. And what we're talking about is that obviously, and it is very obvious, especially if you're a WWE fan, you probably either are shadowing it off to the side and not looking at it, or you're kind of realizing that you're not saying it. But the WWE has not performed to what its normal standards have been for the last 20 years recently. All right. And there's a number of things we're going to talk about today that are conflicting with that, that are actually contributing to that. And, and, you know, Charles had a lot of great uh, facts that came up and actually we even got ratings and all kinds of stuff. So it's going to be a good show today. Um, first and I, foremost. I want to say this though, Dan. Hold on. Yeah. Real quick. I am not going to, I'm not going to annihilate you in a debate because I actually want to talk with Charles and Bob uh, because <laughs> I would, I would mop the floor with you that something has happened <laughs> over the last several years called streaming called cutting yeah. the cord yeah. and the ratings yeah. dilemma for wwe is present in the nfl the nfl is the number one sports mm -hmm. yeah you know, major and their ratings are down yeah. so let's just be really let, 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 let's try to lower the drama and, and be you know let's give the fans out there news and facts not just bashing vince all the time no we're not going to bash hold on we're not gonna, oh sorry we're not <laughs> going to bash vince Mark we're, not, we're, we're, we're not bashing at all. We're just talking about the implosion. Like, all right, one of the big things for me, and I mean, I'm going to see if Bob agrees with me. Yeah, go ahead. They, they let way too much social media in. They let it in. They try to put way too much out there. Russell used to be a kayfabe secret thing. You can't hide everything <laughs> nowadays. Yeah. It's, imp it's impossible. Mm -hmm. But they let way too much shit out. Like okay. their personal relationships. So, and yeah, the relationships. All that is way, it's just way too much. So like just see. recently, like, like not even recently, but maybe like six months ago, Dakota Kai was in a feud with Shayna Baszler down in NXT. And then it comes out because of their own social medias that they're a couple. Yeah. They're, out, they're out on dates and smooching and stuff on social yeah. media. Like, come on. I don't want to, I don't want to see it. Separation of church and state. So, like, are uh, you, you bring yeah. Braun Strowman, Braun, I'm, I'm going to cut you off. Braun Strowman and Alexa, Alexa Bliss right now. They're mm -hmm. doing that whole thing with her with the Fiend. We all know that's the boyfriend girl. Let it go. Don't. Uh, it's out there. He's probably destroying her little ass. Let's get it out there. But he might. But, I don't think they're together in real life. Yeah, yeah he's messing. He, yeah, he's messing with her. Really? It's, I thought yes. Buddy Murphy was. I think you're getting worked into a shoot, brother. Yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> they're, they're, no, they said they're very good friends. They're this, they that. They, they travel, but you don't. They are. Look at Mark. Mark's the driver. Uh, <laughs> Mark picked him up. Uh, Some hi. things you just Mark don't put out there. Over here. <laughs> Mark the listen, limo driver. Yeah. I know. Listen, this is this is aimed towards Charles and Dan, the old guys in the group. Oh, listen, you guys, you guys need to modify your viewing to 2020. Social media could be used as a very huge positive. 
I will. I, I agree with Charles. The I don't agree with the point that they're overusing social media. I agree with the fact that they're not capitalizing on it enough. Bob brought up a great point. They brought real life relationships into it when you when you bring in real life with storyline. My mm-hmm. my opinion is if you're gonna do the stuff on Twitter, have it show up on wrestling and make that storyline part of the. Some of the best storylines in history were real life issues, and you know Matt Hardy and Edge with with Lita. Yeah. That was a great. Yeah. You know you had yeah. great heat. So let's use social media to its advantage. And I feel like what they're doing is people know, okay, so-and-so are together, okay? They're together in real life, but they're not together on screen. Uh, Rusev and Lana, they're, they're, they're married in real life, but they're not together on screen. And then you have this fans like us that are like, why don't they just have them together on screen? We already know that they're, they're together. It, 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 you can't suspend your disbelief. You, you almost much. have to embrace it. Right, so you, you can't not. But then, then they do things like they did with Lana and Rusev. Right, you right. know they're still married, and she's a, and he's just in some sort of cuckold. So that, that's, <laughs> so that's, that's what I would change. I wouldn't change social media being involved. I would change how they do it to make it more realistic. Well, so in, other words, you're saying, in other words, you're saying bring kayfabe into the social media. No, try not to make it. Try not to make it as realistic. Dan, so let me, let, me, let, me, let me burst your bubble, Dan. Kayfabe died 20 years ago. I'm saying, well, yeah, but then, then, so you can't can't have sports then you can't have sports entertainment. Then you can't have sports entertainment. Well, Mark, well, Mark, yes, well, Mark wait a minute. Hold on, Mark, hold on you one second. You're, you're using the Matt Hardy and Lita, but you really can't use because back then, if Vince said if you didn't work this person, you were fucking fired, dude. Your ass is out of here. I guarantee you they was rumbling in the back, but it's all about money. Wrestlers, this sure. dude's I wrestled yeah. and, 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 it, he'll t- I hated motherfuckers in, in real life, but I had to work them. I made it came a little stiff, sure. you know what I mean? But back then, the it was still yeah. hidden. You didn't know what was going on. That's what made it so good. Charles, now, Charles I have a question. I have a, I have yeah. a question for you. As a former right. in-ring wrestler who's a fan still, do you think there's anybody watching wrestling today that thinks it's real? Yes, younger kids still do. Absolutely. And, and some of the people on the WWE feed. Hey, Mark, sometimes, Mark. Hey, Mark, hold on. I think, I think, I think, hey, Mark, think you're off base. Hey, Mark. I think you're wrong. Mark, wait a minute. I'm sometimes, work on this one. Mark, sometimes I think you think it's real. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Listen. I, I watch every show when I watch. I try to suspend disbelief for the yeah. two hours or however long. And I try to convince myself that it's real until you see some of the shit that happens in the ring. Yeah. And at that point in time. But I, I got to go with Mark here. I, I don't think at any point in time, kids of any age, because I think parents are so quick to blow the spot open. Yep. Because yeah. a lot of parents, a lot of parents, oh, you watch wrestling? That's gay. It's fake. Yeah. And like that's the kind of stuff like <laughs> parents. Kids. Well, 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 well. You say that, but still, kids, horrible kids, parents. Wait a minute. Kids <laughs> still, a kid from the age, the kid from the age. I would say, all right, we'll go from six years old to ten years wrong, old. Wrong. Wrong. Hold on. Can wrong. I finish? <laughs> wrong. Can I finish? Go ahead. You always say, they always say 13 to 17. You're, yeah. Yeah. If you go around to the schools now, I see all these little kids with wrestling shirts on. You should see it. It's, it, it's in the parks. They got the wrestling shirt on. They got the John Cena shirts on. They got this. <laughs> yeah, 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 uh, yeah. You know, no matter what I you say. I see 40-year-olds with them on, too. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Well, understand, there's still a market they, they go after. I got you, at, at that age, if you're a wrestling fan, they know they're going to get you to at least, I say, seventeen. All right, I'm just putting that out there. All right? Well, also look at the age group you're talking about, though. These are also the age group that you're you're channeling the wrestling products to, yes. like the toys and stuff like that. So those younger kids are definitely getting the toys. They're definitely. As that's why he makes 13, money. 13, 14, I think you're moving more towards shirts, shirts and videos, and videos and stuff like yeah. that. But those kids, there's a big market for the toys. I mean, granted, for the forty-year-olds too, because they they're collect collectibles, them. right? Yeah. yeah, but but definitely, you, these kids are getting the toys. That's why you're able to. And and as a toy collector, that I am in, in a sense, when they when WWE came out with like, they said, all right, well, there's only so much you could do with wrestling. Let's now make them monsters. And they did that whole line yeah. where they were all zombies or they were monsters. Yeah. Well, now that now they have He-Man for you, Dan, so you'll be happy yeah, that. Yeah, that, those are phenomenal. Listen, I, I got this one. That, that's great stuff. So, wait, so, wait, 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 w
Mark, I'm going to pull one of your things. Let's get back to the subject, right? Yes. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to get on. back to the subject because Wait, the fact is, today. But do you think nowadays, all right, this is what I, do you think nowadays? Mm -hmm. I've noticed sometimes now they're trying to go back to the attitude with some of the things they say. Kids nowadays are so, a six-year-old is a 10-year-old, a 10-year-old yes. is a 15-year-old. A 15-year-old right. is a 20-year-old. That PG shit they're doing now is so corny that you're like, I'm not watching that. It's stupid. Um, so do you think they want to go just a slight more like edgier with some things? I don't think edgier is better. I think what it is is don't insult their intelligence. I, well, it, yeah. I at, the really end, think, at the end of the day, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I really think, and I'm going to calm down now because you guys are raising my blood pressure. The fact is, is that it has it nothing really, to do with your, that has nothing to do with your weight, right? Uh, no, nothing okay. at all. all right. The all fact right. is, it really is that simple. All they need to do is make storylines make sense. They, they, they. Oh yeah. All they need to do, it, it mm -hmm. doesn't take a lot. Like Bob and I talked about it on um, Point Counterpoint. Yeah. The end of um, Dynamite on Saturday night when uh, the Dark Order beat down Cody. Yeah. That was like, like we left that wanting more. And the point is, that was a realistic storyline because they've been building up Dark Order for the last seven, eight, nine months. Yeah. Even before Brody Lee came in. Yeah. So mm -hmm. all, all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, people, I'm going to bring it back full circle for you, Chuck. People know it's fake, but they still watch it because they want to be entertained. But people are turning out, they're tuning out because it's not entertaining, because it's insulting their intelligence. All they have to do is knock out the shit just have a, a one of the best storylines in the world is i'm better than you and i'm gonna prove it that's all you need that's all Go you out need. there have a match and then build a feud over eight months because they keep exchanging victories with each other that's all you need but no we get my son's gonna become a wrestler and you took out my eye and all this other bullshit. that shit's retarded just, mm -hmm. exactly. so with, with wwe you're either getting that or you're getting like makeshift friends over a two month period of time that implode. Like yeah. Yeah. it's the same sickle sickle. And and, and, granted, and Mark's gonna laugh because I'm gonna You're go back to old well. school. I'm gonna go back to old school in back in the day. Oh, nobody really? okay. nobody yeah, right? Go figure. I but, can't go that far back. But, but no one gives a shit about who you're friends with. Nope. No. It's a professional sport. I wanna see you wrestle. Well, how about this? I noticed the other day one of the best things, and Bob, tell me if I'm wrong, because I know Bob's into this. When they put Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax together, oh they both said, wait a minute, <laughs> but when you look at them, they just look like they can fuck you up. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Sasha Banks doesn't look like she can fuck you up. No. I'm sorry. Yeah. You look at her like, bitch, you're about 125 pounds. But she can pounds. go. She can it doesn't go. matter. Nia Jax, Nia Jax is like 275. Hair. She's 275. Now, do the gender swap, though. Go to the guys for a second, right? right. Now, you have guys that were like, let's let's take the, the big guys. I don't know. Go with the Hulk Hogan's, the King Kong Bundy's, the Big John Studs, right? Yeah, them big guys, right? right? And then you make that switch over to guys like Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels. In that same scenario that you just said, okay. that could be applied. They say, well, there's no way that Bret, Bret Hart. But, you, like Yokozuna, see, but, but see, but where, where you're going with that is it's a work rate thing. It's yeah, it's the rate of it. It doesn't, it, it just, you got to make it work. If you're going to push this sure. Shayna Baszler as a MMA bitch, a bad bitch, whatever, let her be a bad bitch. Yeah. But see, with her, see a thing, like a storyline I would do with somebody like a Shayna Baszler. I'm sorry if anyone gets offended because if you know me, I don't use that terminology. It was just the way it came out. So, but <laughs> shut up, shut up, dude. You have her do it. You have her do something where all of a sudden she gets jumped or something, and some guy comes out, and that's her boyfriend. <laughs> you can do shit like that with her, and he's like the regular guy, but now he's all pissed off. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The, the well, things are the things. Who's yelling? I don't oh, know. sorry. But they just. The, the storylines are horrible. They're horrific. But if you take okay, one so, some's so, eye, if you take someone's eye out, you're going to jail. So you know? Yeah, right, let's, right. Let's, right. Let's, let's bring it back. You, you and Dan seem to think that pe there are still people watching who think it's real. I, no, I like, that's I, not true. I'm saying that it's just stupid. It is. But you, I, you, I said, agree with you, you said it. You said it. But you said Kayfabe was. I'm saying Kayfabe's dead. And, and it, it is. is. It is dead. 
So, no, no, K-Fave is dead. K-Fave so is dead. It so has been dead for a while. Do, what you need to do is you need to modify. You need to change with the times. And that's why I think they could bring in social media and make it more real the by... Sh- God. Don't you think, and this goes shut back up, to Dan, the Dan, formula. Dan, Dan, shut up. Go ahead, John. Go ahead. The, the shoot interview is what killed <laughs> kayfabe for a wrestling. And there's yeah. no walking it back. WWE's killed it on their end with their documentaries that they put out. Yeah. Or, and you're watching everybody hobnob it backstage and everything. Like They, they killed it for themselves. Here's the problem. Here is the problem. And it's it, it's, it comes back to control. We are thumbing everything in wwe as vince mcmahon or whoever you want to talk about so all the interviews sound exactly the same yes okay oh, that's just a performance level it doesn't matter who it is okay you have by doing that you'll never have a roddy pipe or an ultimate warrior where he had these crazy promotions uh, i'm you know, gonna take it a step forever. further you're yeah. not even gonna have an mjf no yeah you're right you will not you there will you not. go that's there you one, go. One to modernize thing. it a little bit, you're not going to have an MJ. That's no. one key thing. Now, going yeah. back to what Charles said, if you want to make her an MMA bitch, let's make her an MMA bitch. You're not because you know why? They want to control the injuries. It's a great business point. As a business person, I want my talent to be healthy, of course. But when you control it so much that now it's obvious that you know, like, like for example, when AJ Styles came to WWE, that's not the AJ Styles we know from Japan. Nope. That's not the AJ Styles we know from TNA. That's AJ Styles WWE. Yeah. And, and I'm happy with that. I'm WWE happy with that. has such a great ability of not making me give a shit about people that I loved watching in New Japan and on the yes. internet. AJ right. Styles, don't care. Nakamura, don't, don't care. care. Sammy nice. Zayn, don't care. Kevin nice. Owens. Don't, don't care. care. You know who they took it for the who they really killed for me? I hate to say it was Samoa Joe. Yeah. Right. He's a great he's a great he's a great commentator, though. I hate to say that. How do you he's, he's actually that? voicing uh doing he's voicing King Shark, King Shark in the new oh, Suicide yeah. Squad movie. So he's uh, they're opening guys up to different venues, avenues, man, venues yeah. which is how do you mess Joe up? They what? How do you, how do you mess, mess Joe up? I just yeah. I don't get it. He can talk. He can work. He because, because WWE is not the venue for a guy like Joe. Well, you know because, who's next? Keith Lee. Keith oh, Lee. they're killing him. Yeah. They're destroying him already. Yeah, already done. You you guys are acting like TNA just does a great job with Samoa Joe. They didn't utilize him either. So stop it. Better than wait, WWE. Wait, 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 wait. Better than WWE. NXT Mark. used Samoa Joe great. Mark, NXT Mark. Was great. Yeah, NXT did. Mark. Mark. NXT did. I have a yes, did. You're right. They were a failing company. All right. Samoa Joe Samoa, was in, no, stop it. Oh my god. TNA, look, you know I love TNA. I like but TNA. Joe was there, but Joe was there during the good years, Mark. He wasn't there during the bad years. He was Daniel. there and they didn't use him properly. They never pushed him the way that they should have. He was a world champion multiple times. Not no, stop it. Stop. Go back and watch it. Go I did. He, was going, he had the belt. He had the belt. And Mark. He had the belt. He he was never over. He was never huge. Mark. And think about now the shape he's in now. He's better shape than he's ever been. When he was in TNA, Mm -hmm. he was fat. He was big. He could move. No, he wasn't big. He was fat. He could move, do all the things. He didn't have the look. Joe has the look now. Joe looks like he'll just run through you. I yeah. think they need look. They need to do that whole Samoan thing and bring him in with it. I don't give a shit what anyone says. They need to go ahead and run with it and see what happens. Even if he can't work anymore, put him as the mouthpiece. Yes, they can do that Samoan dynasty. You can't think, get the rock. I do think do the Samoan dynasty thing. Issues. Yeah. Is he even actually Samoan? I thought he was not Samoan. Well, his name says he's Samoan. <laughs> <laughs> There's that kayfabe again. There it goes. Yokozuna was also Japanese too, Dan. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, and so is Kato. And yeah. so is Kato right now. Or when our shyster works for the IRS, he does. See, we go yes. on all day. But the so 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 Dan let's and the McIntyres back. and the McIntyres were always sober. So yeah, no. they were always sober when they wrestled. Yes, exactly. He's sober now. So, so yeah. let's let's bring it back to now. The, the decline of the WWE. Right. So, so now. There's a couple other things I want to get into, and this all contributes to it. Like, let's talk about uh, Charles brought up a good point, and he said the women are really picking up the slack for the men, and I believe that. And it's a god honest truth. Anything I, I don't watch WWE, but I'll catch matches 
And a lot of it is the women's matches that I'll catch. And like the stuff with Oscar and Sasha Banks. It's Sasha Banks. They're, they're unrestricted Oscar, with the men yeah. aren't. Oh, you think so? In a way. In a way. Yeah. I think so. I think the women really showcase themselves very, very well. Only thing yeah. I don't like about the thing when they made Oscar do that dumb shit. Oscar's badass. Just let mm -hmm. her be Oscar. Yeah, I don't yeah. like all the screaming and the. I hate that thing. shit. I Oscar can't think. is badass. She just yeah. let her go. And they can bring some of those girls up from NXT. Some of them bitches is bad, man. They could go. Yeah. And oh, they yeah. need to let them go. Don't have them do so many shows. You know, they can split it up. There's so much talent they have right now. Give them a little bit more break so they can go a little tight. You know, they can be a little tighter. Because NXT for a while was super tight. Now it seems like, you know, they're doing. I just don't like it. Let them go. Let them the problem, is there's a, problem is there's a bottleneck, right? And you have all this talent here. And this is Vince saying, all right, I'm going to let it go through like this. And that's what you're getting. And unfortunately, you're not going to get that thing. One thing we loved about wrestling back in the day was that you could have your overrunning storylines and not necessarily even have those people wrestling every week. No. You know what I mean? You had other people wrestling and the promos were pushing the story. They, they, they did the pros. They did the promos. Yeah. Right. right. And so, and therefore, when you did get to see this, it was exciting, right? Yeah. By the time you do it nowadays, and this is not nowadays, like in the last no. year. This is obviously what what would you say, Mark? The last 15, 20 years, probably. They have it where you're watching this fucking feud as if these guys are living together as roommates and arguing in the same room every single day of their life. Yeah. And it gets that's what gets old because you don't want to see it anymore. Yeah, like Seth, back, Seth Rollins right. every week. Right. I don't need so, to see it. It's too much. Well, I, 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 I'm going to disagree with you, but only slightly. All right. I don't I don't mind seeing Seth Rollins every week. I don't mind seeing Drew McIntyre, Randy Orton every week. But here's the thing. It's almost as if the promos set up a match for later on the show. It's right. not just a promo on its own. Oh, like, okay. I think Seth Rollins... Um, cause I, I like the Monday night Messiah character, but I'm not mm -hmm. really big on Dom Dominic Mysterio sucks. Okay. Let's just call it what it is. So I I'm intrigued by Seth Rollins changing his character to the Monday night Messiah. So what I'd like to see more of is having him kind of just be the mouthpiece, do the promos and then mm -hmm. send Buddy Murphy to do the dirty work, you know, send, yeah. uh, well, I don't know if AOP's hurt now, but whoever's with them, uh, uh, Rollins push that and have him be the mouthpiece and not yeah. wrestle that way when he does wrestle on TV it's special oh wow yeah. you know Seth Rollins they're finally getting to him yes. blah 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 right. and, 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 and you're bringing multiple people over right well that's true yeah. and, 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 and I, I'm not a big Hulk Hogan fan but even during Nitro he was he was at Nitro almost every week but he didn't wrestle every week he did the whole you know they had that 15 minute long promo every week with the NWO and he was there but he wasn't always wrestling and, and, and oh, it, you know, he was the big star he was there now yeah and to, to kind of capitalize <laughs> what you're saying though like and you're saying a good thing and this is something that wwe does this does okay uh something that's a well-known fact a big huge star in wrestling was lex luger right we can all agree yeah. lex luger was a huge star we can also agree that lex luger wasn't a tremendous worker okay he was okay and in the beginning, he was very green, but like, and that's like horseman days. He was kind of green, but he, but he was, had a look and they kind of, they pushed it. And so I think the promotion did a lot more than Luger did to make Luger big. Okay. When you got guys like Bo Dallas, this is going back. They're obviously not apparent anymore, but Bo Dallas and uh, what's his face? Uh, Henning's. Uh, Curtis Axel. Axel, right? With the lineage that you're dealing with there, whether those guys can get it over or not, there was, I think, should have been a responsibility to say, hey, we've got to work with these guys, but we can't just sit there and say, let them fail. We, no, we, but, we have to. Switch over and put me on. My computer's dying. What switch are you doing? Over. I just entered the green room with my cell phone. Switch over. Oh, what? Where are you at? My phone's dying, or my computer's dying. All right, well, get out and go back on. I know, no, the computer. I got you. He says going on his phone. Oh, there he goes. We got you. I got it. All right, got yeah, it. I don't, I don't want to be like Chuck. Thank God I'm here. My phone the right way. Fuck you, Bob. 
Really? <laughs> Fuck you, Bob. Oh, stop. He looks so <laughs> handsome over there. But when you're, he's, you're talking about Bo Dallas no, and all those guys. You, you, you're saying stuff like that. His, his, the characters and the gimmicks they gave him just didn't work. They well, just, they, right. All they had to do is put him with his brother. He's but ugly Curtis as hell. Axel, let's, Curtis. let's put it this way. Like, for example, the way I would have written him or promoted him, he's definitely not his father. No. He doesn't have the moves like his father, so he can't be a Mr. Perfect, no. right? But he reminded me a lot of Larry the Axe Henning. So wouldn't we kind of maybe mold him into his grandfather a little bit? if we're people, gonna, But people don't know who the Axe are. No one knows who the Axe is. No one is. knows, no. but, we but, do. You can, but you can reintroduce that. Yeah. You and understand what I'm care. saying? They're going to pull up this Oh, so wait, Dan, so you're saying, and, yeah. like, just yeah, nobody's like, going to care. It's like when you try to get your kids to watch old cartoons and the animation's <laughs> not up to snuff. Right. People just don't care. Right. But that, that goes back to my point earlier, is that... Yes. If you have Curtis Axel, nobody mm -hmm. knows who Curtis Axel is, but kids ah, will, hey, go. hey, there he, hey, Charles flipped it. Um, nobody knows who Curtis Axel is. <laughs> no, 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 no. So a, a Google search, because my eight-year-old nephew is on the, on the internet, a right. Google search will show Curtis Axel is Kurt Hennig's son, M Michael Hennig. Oh, oh, my gosh, what's this? They're going to learn anyway, so they don't have to show grainy footage of Larry Henning. They can no, say, they hey, don't. This guy here is the grandson of Hall of Famer Larry Henning and the son of Hall of Famer Kurt Henning, and he's going to come out as Curtis Axel, taking Axe, uh, Larry the Axe Henning, and and Kurt Henning his father, and yeah. we're, he's going to honor his name, and, and that's all they had to do. Right. They're just right. Ugh. You're right. Uh, it's it's frustrating. Hey, Bob, it I is frustrating, you, isn't it? Because you're hey, talking about potential. You're not now, granted. Axel did not is not up to par of what I think we wanted him to be. But if they did that, Mark, they could have pushed him, and it would have forced him to work on his craft a lot better. But not 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 everybody yeah. has to be world champion. Like no, there's they no don't. place for the card to. There's yes. gotta have card, fillers. Mid card. Yes, they've got to give the middle card something relevant to work with. There you go. Going out there, right. like like I hate seeing like, and I'm a, I was a tag team wrestler. I hate when they have one member of a tag team wrestle one member of a tag team. I hate that. And then right yeah. after that, you get the other member versus the other member. Oh, well, they the, the non-champions beat the champions. I hate that. The title match. No, you right. didn't. You haven't done anything to prove you two can work yeah. together as a team. Right. Like, why? I don't care. And, and I don't like that. Like, let's say me and Charles are in a feud, right? I hate him. He hates me. So and we're, we, had a, we had a one-sided feud. Yeah, I'll beat the shit out of him. No, so what happens is yeah. we are fighting, we're fighting, we're fighting. The promoter who does not need to be involved in the shit. That's another thing, too. There's too many characters in wrestling. Let the wrestlers be the characters. The promoter says, I want you guys to be a tag team because you hate each other. And then you're going to go against the tag team champions, right? And then Morgan we and I throw, talked about this this week. Right. Show, yep. The strange bedfellows tag team. Yeah, and, and, then, like, and then like me and Charles... Guys. Me and Charles win the tag team titles for some fucking odd reason, and we still hate each other. And we Meanwhile, start the wrestling for the next month. You bury your tag team division while doing it. There you yes, go. Exactly. Yes. There you go, Mark. Yes. Mark just said it. But, yes. but a huge aspect <laughs> to that. Look at the way AEW is doing it. And yes. they're actually doing it right with yes. Omega and Paige. Yes. They took two of the biggest single stars in the company. And they actually helped build that tag division in spite of having unbelievable amounts of talent, the tag teams in that company. And I think, now, I now think the question COVID, I have for you, hold on. There, there, there's one question I have. Do you think that's because I think AEW has more ex workers writing, workers, old time workers writing these storylines instead of that's these, right. instead that's of that's these, these so called producers, these people? No offense, Mark, when I say this, Marks. That they're professional wanna, writers. That they're professional writers. writers. You don't yeah. need. Yeah. You can have professional writers, yes, but you got to have the old school workers that know the business. Well, they have make it make sense. AEW mm -hmm. has wrestlers writing wrestling storylines. Storylines. Yeah. WWE. If you look at their past, like they've got guys like Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah. They've got uh, Patrice O'Neill, uh, Matt McCarthy, who's very, who's got a very popular podcast now. They they hire comedians and like 
Hollywood people who don't know shit about they're wrestling. And the reason why, because they're writing sports entertainment, they're not writing wrestling. It doesn't matter. And that's why. That is why. Yeah. That is why, because the sports entertainment side of it, we're best friends, and we, you fucking stole my cigarette lighter, and therefore I'm mad at you, and we're going to take it out in the wrestling ring. That kind of bullshit is writing. It has nothing to do with wrestling at all. So those guys can write that shit all day long, right? And then you that's the, the shit you're getting. And then meanwhile, we got to insert matches. That's it, it's, 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 the problem I have with WWE is that it's all this soap opera writing that they do, right? Oh, and by the way, while you're at it, you got to insert some matches inside there yeah. to separate the stories. That's what it comes down to. When I watch AEW, there's still sports entertainment over there. Sure. There's some funny shit with MJF. With the, it's kind of like they've taken the political thing. I love that. I think it's kind of funny. They need to just give him twenty minutes of promo every and week. And just do it. Right. <laughs> I, Yo, I think I'll, I think I'll agree with that. But with they're that. doing yes. old school, which is, and it's not even old school. It's correct. I think they're telling the story in the ring, and WWE yeah. is not telling a story in a ring. And not they're even not. that. They're doing the old school. You get your ass jumped in the parking lot. If you're, if I'm a fight, Bob. All right. And I Bob. see him walking through the hallway. I'm gonna punch him in his face and jump all over him. Yeah. Do more shit of that, and that just do things like that, and let them run with it. And Don't, realistically, though, too, if I take Bob's head and I put him through a window of a car, why am I being so? He's more than likely going to be bounced off the window. He's not going to smash the window through. Because quite frankly, if I threw him that hard that he shattered a car window, he probably would be dead. He shouldn't be on next week. How's he that? He should be on next week. Right. Exactly. Well, that's like Money in the Bank with Alistair Black and Ray Mysterio getting thrown off the building and showing yep. up less than 24 hours, Four hours later. Walk. Yeah. Walking. <laughs> walking. 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 Yeah. You know. Not Wait, hold on. Alien. Yo, yo, only walk with a limp, okay? They actually look rehabilitated <laughs> and better than the night before. I got news for you. I've never fell off of anything, and I'm still I can't walk up steps. You understand? Hey, what I'm hey, saying? Like, hey, hey Bob, hey, hey, Bob, Bob how do you say? They gave was, oh, there was a balcony four floors down. Are you kidding me? Like you'd still be smashed up. That's why cocaine <laughs> is a hell of a drug. You know what I mean? <laughs> <Really>? you know? <laughs> <laughs> now let's move on to another thing that they try to do, which I thought really in the beginning was a very ingenious. No, it's not. Thing. Don't talk about this Thunderdome shit. Shut up. Because that's what uh. we're going to talk about. Thunderdome Thunder sucks Thunder balls. Dome. Thunderdome. Once again, I'm not watching. Sorry, I'm Bob. Watching sorry, sorry, Mark. I think, Mark, I hate it. But I well, hate it too. here's what exactly. happened. In theory, to say, let's get the fans interactive because the fans haven't been involved. Yeah. We can't invite them into the ring. So let's get them online. They're watching from home. It gives them a, a reason to tune in because they're going to try and tune in to see themselves. So you're giving the fans like Mark and Bob and whoever, like, this is a reason – this is a reason for you to watch, right? Because no, you're because you're a part because now you're part of this show. Blah 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 blah, right? So that's it's a great the idea. Most horrible shit. I've it's a great heard. idea. It's so distracting from the product they're trying right. to do. Yes. Now my understanding is my understanding is there is no sound still, right? You don't hear any of these people. What do you mean? Like no, 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 Thunderdome, you don't hear Thunderdome people, eat right? And pops. Okay, it's canned. Yes. Oh, God. okay. Okay. So, but what the that's, problem is, like, that's that's right there. WWE, be quiet, Dan. That's WWE's <laughs> biggest problem in a nutshell yeah. is they think this is what they need to fix their product. They put all this crap together, all the lasers, the lights, the smoke, there you go, the Thunderdome, all the screens and stuff. Your problem is what happens between the ropes, not around it. Thank you. That's right. Now, Mark, Mark, I think we said that last time. It's too much flash, especially yeah. on SmackDown. Oh, my God. I hate watching SmackDown. Yeah. Now, does your Fox TV actually, can you actually see people's faces on SmackDown? Yeah. With the blue and everything? Like, I yeah. just bought a new 70-inch 4K TV. I can't make out who the hell's in the ring because there's so much going on with the flash <laughs> lights and everything. <laughs> right. I thought it was the, I thought it was the TV. I switched over to So, NBA. the lasers the and, got, and everything. I full blown. I, I can see everything. Perfect. We can't see the focal point of the show, which is <laughs> my match. I can see the morons in the Thunderdome, but I can't see the idiots in the right. Ring. Now, Thunderdome had some problems where you have, and the, the funny part of it is like you have screenshots of people sleeping and stuff like that, which is kind of funny. There yeah, was yeah, some ben really. Show up three times. Ben Wild's been on there. That's true, right? M MJF was on there, remember? MJF, MJF. Fire yeah. And then they had. Velvety, did, yeah. Didn't they have someone in, and this is not funny, but didn't they have someone in KKK 
outfits or something yeah, like that I heard, that's which, what is, say. which is which is not cool. And then you see, and granted, it could be clickbait. It definitely could be clickbait. But they said WWE is looking to fine people who are wearing AEW t-shirts on Thunderdome. <laughs> Like, Go ahead. Send me a Venmo, WWE. <laughs> yeah, really, really see I'll, I'll be, I'll be completely honest, and I'll send you a fine. Go right ahead. Yeah. Like I really, I here. really like, like understand that you're opening it up to the fans, and the fans will do whatever they want. They're not under contract. They don't give a shit, right? So this is, it. and in all honesty, I mean, you could say it's funny. Those fans that are putting up sleeping pictures and stuff like that, they're still watching. Nah, that's a shoot, dude. They fell asleep. Three hours yeah. of Raw is insufferable. It really is. But understand it, but they're still watching. They're still tuning in. They're still counting towards the ratings. No, okay. they're not, Dan. Let's bring that up, too. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. You, Mark has, I, and Mark did a great job. Mark has ratings dating back to when they were hot to when they were now. We want to try and condense it a little bit more because we went over a lot of stuff off the air. But let's condense it and say, give me an average. Let's the average numbers before we saw a decline were about what? So let me just say that I have every rating here from January fourth, twenty sixteen. That is four and a half years worth of raw ratings. This is only raw. Right. Um, to give you an idea where they were on January. Mark's dead. This big man. The Burger Vince King Mc delivery man got him this time. Vince McMahon cut him down because they don't want him to show the ratings. Well, That's just to just to, to spitball <laughs> off of that, like you can't even even from 2016, like you can't even accurately go by ratings because yes. the average consumer consumes their media so much different in this day and age. Like how yes, many people true. actually watch stuff live? Like AEW is the only thing I watch when it actually occurs. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. Now they got to take an effect DVR, uh, which they weren't in when DVR first was a big thing. But DVR is more apparent now because obviously people have lives. Because that's okay. what I watch. That's what I watch most of my wrestling, dude. Is I DVR? DVR it, yeah. And I, I take it on my phone. I watch it at lunch. And, and I got news for you. I I want them to count that I'm DVRing this particular yeah. show and yeah. say, hey, no, I'm watching. I just have to watch it on my time. Yeah. yeah, you know, I mean, that's that's the thing. So don't don't penalize me because I didn't watch it at eight o'clock on Wednesday or whatever. Now, I mean, even like I mean, I keep going back to the same thing, and and you're saying the same thing. Yeah, you got to focus on the wrestlers. You got to stop yeah. all the glitz and bullshit. You know, get back to like I think it needs to be a little tighter because when they, I think there should be a little delay sometimes because like when Orton missed the kick, we see it. Mm -hmm. Anybody can see it. Shit How about like that, that, that Keith Lee fireball a couple weeks ago? Oh, it was horrible. It was four feet from his face. Face. Oh, wow. So, yeah, they, they need to do a delay. I'm sorry. And is that a great cameraman who caught something really bad? No, <laughs> or, or what? You know what I mean? Like, think about that for a second. Overproduction and Kevin Dunn's quick camera uh, cuts. Wasn't and, it yes. something where they threw somebody over a thing and you it's, see them land on a, on a, on a, on a, uh, a landing pad? Or something like that. Was that one of the pay per views? Oh, that's a uh, when they did Ray Mysterio, I think. Ray Mysterio, I think, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. He jumped off a building and he, but he landed in a in a, in a stop man pad and they showed that. No, but like I said, I mean, this I understand like with all these cameras, how you got to take away. You can't zoom in when the guy's in the corner. They need to know this because you can see him talking. They need to get away from dumb shit like that. Right. Make it look like they're they're actually performing and take it from there. Stop. With all the high def, there's still a way you have to shoot things. You back, Mark? I'm sorry. Oh, good. There you we go. Got rid of Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Dan's gone. See, this is a great show already, guys. <laughs> um, oh, we just okay. I can deal like, with that. Yeah, I can deal with that. But like, we are right, back to the ratings, Mark. Oh, yeah. The I, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm somewhere along the way. I cut off. So should I start from the beginning or or? Well, yeah, well, no. Go right in. And... Over again. Okay, Start the so, whole thing over again. <laughs> okay. And five, four. <laughs> so the the ratings here um, I have from January fourth, twenty sixteen, uh, up to present, uh, which is four and a half years worth of ratings. Yeah. Um, just to give you an idea, January fourth pulled in three point five million viewers, and they kind of kept within three point five to three million viewers for. The first, I don't know, the first uh, uh. 10 months. So 
So, so they did pretty good between three point five and three million. They were kind of just riding along. Right. The summer of twenty eighteen is when things really took a turn for the worse. Um, now, real quick, just to interrupt you, do you have who was the champion at that time? No, I just I have a the lot numbers. of that does matter as what? well when you're talking about ratings and who is the face of the company at the moment. Well, what I don't have is, is, is the champions. I also don't have which Raws were after a pay-per-view, you know, because a lot of people right. have the network. They'll tune in to see who won. Uh, I just have hour one, hour two, hour, hour three sucks. They, they just yeah, need, yeah, yeah. They need to either drop the third hour or go back to 9 to 11. Um, it's worth too much in advertising money. They're not going to do it. They're never yeah. going to do it, right. Um, what, what I find interesting here is that in July of 2018, they dipped below three million, and didn't get back up over three million. They did once. It was the Monday Night Raw after SummerSlam eighteen, which did three million. Mm -hmm. right. Then they didn't see three million. So August twentieth, two thousand eighteen, was three three point one million viewers. They didn't see three million again until one year later, July twenty second, twenty nineteen. Damn. That's Eleven months Jesus. later. But how? What's the kind of? What kind of? Do you see the kind of difference? Like if it's like twenty-seven it's, million, no, listen, or like I, like like yeah, instead of three hundred no, million, there's like two hundred and seventy million or something like that. Was well, it like? First of all, it, it, it's three million and two million. Don't be giving them more fans than they need. Um, right. Secondly, <laughs> no, it, it's very. Inconsistent. Well, you're right. I'm, I'm yeah. just going to give you a bunch. So going from two point one million, two point four, two point one, two point two, two point two, two point four. It's a three, lot of people. It's, yeah. it's, it, it's, it's very, and you're talking 300,000 people. So, um, yeah. again, they, they did one 3 million viewer. That was July <laughs> of 19. They haven't sniffed 3 million since. Right. So ever since, and then when COVID happened, um, they, they have noted that in this ratings 316. So that was March 16th. Uh, they did a rating of 2.3. I guess people wanted to tune in to see how Stone it was cold. Oh, yeah, that's Stone right. Cold. Stone cold night. That was great. Right. Sure. And then they dipped to 1.9, 1. 1. Wow. 1. 1. 1.7. That's 1. even 9, worse. 1.6 last week. And then the first episode of Thunderdome. So, respectively, they went from 1.6 last week to 2.0 this week because of Thunderdome. People tuned in to want to see what Thunderdome was like. But they're doing two. They're, they lost in four years over a million viewers. And they don't seem to care to, to write the ship. They think putting more production value in it is what's going to do it. Yeah. It's, I, well, I, you know I, what? I it's like having a board hole and there's a bunch of band-aids. Because they have good production value. I, I tune in for the content. And yeah. the content's not there. That's right. There, there That's you go. Right. Hey, Mark. I'm not Mark. I, I think you just summed, summed it up, Bob. The content is not there. Yeah. Not at there. all. Not, like, not like, one what, What's your favorite TV show? Mine? Non-wrestling. Non wrestling favorite TV show is Everyone Loves Raymond. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> who are you? Who are you? Uh, All right, I'll give you a more modern no, one. No, I like, actually, I like, actually, no, I like Chicago. Go I like Chicago that. PD. Okay, I like Chicago PD. Yeah, me too. Okay, yeah, I like so Chicago I PD. I watch Chicago PD regularly. Yeah. So suppose you tuned in to Chicago PD every week, and like they instead of like writing better episodes, like they're mm. on, they were on a steep decline for writing, say. Right. Say you tuned into Chicago PD, but like, oh, we've we've got new 4K cameras that we're going to film with. We've got a uh, you know better yeah. better looking rain. Yeah. We've got you know, you know all the better looking snow in the street. Like, yeah. More re everything but the content in the show. Right. WWE continues right. to do. Yeah. And and you're so right. Damn frustrating. It's, it's it's stupid. It's stupid. And I'm gonna I'm gonna take from Bully Ray real quick. And the one thing that WWE just does not do is they do not let their talent be talented. No. No, they don't. And I think that's what sums up. And I think that's what goes back to them controlling. Let's control injuries as much as because no, you know, you know who will go over respect. on the main roster like, uh, and no one likes it when I say it, but we'll go over on the main roster. But you gotta let them be him. Is Velveteen Dream. Yes, he would be incredible on the main roster. As no, as dude. Keep away from the little He's, girls' DM. Yeah, yeah right. well, He's you under, wait a minute, wait a minute. You understand what I'm saying? You're not no, getting what I'm saying here. I know. But he that would. Guy's talented. He's very talented. He would, I agree. Someone like yeah. that would would would. If you let Adam Cole come in, let Adam Cole be Adam Cole. 
Mm-hmm. He'd be he'd be fantastic. Hey, you know what? You Here's know? one. Hold What's on, real name? quick. My valet is whispering in my ear. She's she's a real Badinsky sometimes. Hey, um, she uh, she she wants Velveteen Dream. She'd be more interested if he would stop relaxing his hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, That's horrible. Now, now here's the thing, though. What happened? What happened in old school sitcoms when the ratings would drop? They always added like something completely off the wall. Trying, like for example, on the Brady Bunch, they added the cousin with the blonde hair and the glasses. Well, that's right? what we did. Or that's what we did with our show. We added you. So what the fuck? Well, fuck yeah. I hired all you bitches. <laughs> Shit. No, but no, I understand what you're saying. Uh, I get about. I mean, I'm Dan. I understand what you're saying. Yeah, yeah but, but that's what it is. You know, you don't need to add on anything. You just need mm-hmm. to fix what you got. Fix what exactly. you got. That's they exactly have, right. Yeah, right fix now, what you got. In WWE to say something positive, they mm-hmm. arguably have the most talented group of athletes ever. that they have ever had. Yes. Like you look mm-hmm. back in the in the era that we love and shine on so much. A lot of those guys were not athletes. They were just big. Big dudes that could tell stories, which which served its purpose then. Yeah. But wrestling's a whole different thing right now, and it's all athleticism. But but do you under, but Bob? Do you think it's because these guys never were like? I hate to say it, they're big stars to me. Were all the guys that were in the indies? They worked their way up. Not no, these people. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Not these people that they make. And okay. I got you know. Hold on, hold on, Dan. Shut up. Yeah, you I'm gotta you, you gotta be out there to know like. You may say like AJ Styles, Samoa Joe. I go back to that. Um, yeah. Those guys that worked the Indies, who had to work their way up, now are the guys carrying this business for WWE. Because some of these guys don't know the mic; they suck. They don't get it. If if you come out unscripted on them, and we go in there and start screwing with them, they wouldn't know what to do because yeah. they're that scripted. You know, if I'm talking to Bob in the ring and I say something funny, you can fire back and then go back to the script. These guys can't do it. And, and let me say something. Going back to what you're saying there, though, and saying, like, and not so it's a WWE criticism, right? Go back to WCW for a moment. The guys that came out of the power plant, same thing. And WCW, WCW was dominant for 86 fucking weeks with guys that were doing that same kind of bullshit that we didn't like those guys coming out of the power plant. In comparison to what we were seeing, and yeah, it was but the, the, same but thing. the oh. thing with WWE is like I think I honest to God think there's one person to blame for it, and it's Vince McMahon himself. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, yeah. because yeah. if you look at all these guys, with the exception of AJ, which you brought up, yeah. they all went through NXT, and who who led NXT? Dusty. Yeah. So they yeah. did get that old school. They had that old school. Knowledge. Yeah. They got the promo class. They got everything. Yes. The mm-hmm. problem is they don't know how to cut a promo on their own because they're so used to to having so, to read from you. You hear about all the interviews from like Matt Cardona, John Moxley, all the guys that just left. They talk about, you know, you get handed two pages. Here's your promo, and Moxley's reading it. And he's like, you know, I've got. Uh, he's like, this is this is great to start from. He's like, yeah, I'll figure something out to do. And the writer goes, no, this is the promo. You're going to read this. Yeah. Like you don't add lib. Like they're they're specifically told not And to you know the knows a classic case of that? Brody Lee. Yeah. Brody Let's Lee was nothing in WWE. And he's nothing. holding his own on the mic now. I yes, like he definitely is. Yes. He definitely I didn't know the dude could talk. No. Right. Right. He's exactly. a legit psychopath. Like I want to see this dude go into movies and play like the serial killer or something. Yeah. Yeah. I mean he's great. And it's because a lot of those guys, and I think there's a lot of talent in WWE. That really, if you put them in an old school setting, what we would see and the people we would remember. But so it's not old. Thing. It's not old school setting. It's old school way of of what's the word for it? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. In a new yeah. school way. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. There but you like go. you got like Keith Lee on Monday. Like I watched. I don't watch Raw. I can't do it anymore. I've given up. I I went on Facebook. I watched the clips. Like, did did you hear his promo? Like, none of what Keith Lee said sounds like it would come from Keith Lee. No! And that's nah, the problem. Yeah. Like, when you're not giving the promo yourself, somebody else is writing it for you, and it's not the same stuff you would say. Like, like who walks into into a fight with somebody and says, oh, 
Well, you don't know who I am. Yeah. People call me limitless. Get the hell out of here. No. And, 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 punch you square, and he can't keep, <laughs> yo, he, he keeps smiling. Did you notice that? Yeah. Stops. I'd smack the shit out of him, piss him off. So yeah. he wouldn't smile, you know? He's a big dude. Put a little yeah. bass in your voice. There you just... go. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Right? You're right. Bob, how are you saying the right? Like Keith Lee. I like... Yeah, he's a phenomenal athlete. I agree. For his and, size. And, and, he has and... no business being as athletic as he is at that No. Time. They oh. need to make him a Paul Heyman guy. Now, That's something... who should have been a Paul yeah, Heyman you're... guy. Yeah. Paul I'm Heyman could have molded that dude. He could have molded that dude over the next couple of years, and he would have been a beast for the next 10 years. Yeah. I think Paul Heyman, though, is the guy that they really deep down know they need in their company, but they hate that they need him in the company. Vince they doesn't want to admit it. Him, but the product yeah. is don't want to admit it. Vince doesn't want to admit it. No, he don't. That's, no. The, that's the guy you're like, you know what? I can't stand that son of a bitch, but you know what? You know what? He's, right. I think, He's I think, right. I think Triple H knows that. Triple oh, H yeah. is fully aware of that. But he I can't have confidence on. that he'll yeah. do the right thing yeah. when it's his turn. But like even Vince, like just to go back to that, how stubborn he is. Yeah. He had all the pieces to recreate the Bullet Club, which was arguably what respawned wrestling fans who who yeah. fell off for years. The Bullet Club T-shirt is the best-selling T-shirt since the NWO T-shirt and the yep. Austin 316 shirt. It, it, it's not even yeah. arguable. Because like, he didn't think of it. Because he didn't think of it. Yeah, but yeah. Why, why can't you just check your ego at the door? I'm like, yo, I can make money with this. Well, remember, well, yeah. remember, he can make money, but remember, what's the name got a percentage because he had the he had the rights to the Bullet Club. So give him so, a percentage. Yeah, you're still making money. The still smart, make, there you go. The smartest so. thing he could have ever done, yeah. and he did not do, was to keep it kayfabe in the sense of buy WCW and compete against his own product. That's what murdered wrestling, in my opinion. Yes, yeah. it is. It absolutely is. If he kept it kayfabe, and let's say we said, Shane McMahon, yeah, you bought WCW, and you're competing against your dad, and kept the war somewhat going. Still run Nitro on TNT. Yep. Right. Exactly. Great. Yeah, you, have to, you have to remember that, that there were guys like Hogan, Goldberg, Nash, yes. who were getting paid these guaranteed contracts who weren't going to be bought out. So I hear what you're saying. They still could have left. I mean, there's a lot of hypothetical. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, yeah, it, 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 it sounds well, good. Got, got to say. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> sorry guys. It, it sounds good to say, but the reality yeah. was. Am I back on? The, with no, the, no, not yet. The Smile. guys with WCW. Uh, now you're small. <laughs> what the hell am I doing wrong? Hold on. My phone rang. It was my wife. Sorry guys. You, you close okay. your eyes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell happened to me? You took you your know, camera off. Shut up. I did what the camera. in the middle of my show, God damn it. Anyway, damn. Mark, continue what you were saying. Yeah. Well, I'm saying uh, you have to yeah. remember that the guys who were willing to be there were DDP, which mm -hmm. was past his prime. Um, Booker yes. T, who was in his prime. Booker T was in his prime. Mm -hmm. um, but they, they, they made him a, you know, a joke in the supermarket with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, right. So, so these the big main event players like Hogan, Goldberg, Scott Steiner, mm -hmm. they, they all stayed home. Flair stayed home until November. So, like, if you had, and they never had Sting. If they had Sting right away, you're talking about, yes, you could have done that, and they would have been getting money hand over fist. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. You know, but it's, it's once again, well, and it goes down, and the reason I brought that up is because Johnny made a very, very good statement to me the other day. And he said, not for anything, NXT has an overwhelming WWE vibe to it now that it now did it not does. have before. That it, it did, did not, not have exist. before. Right. And Bob, Bob I said. Bob upon that on our, on our show. On and, their and show. he's right. It happened right when they went to USA Network. And you know why? Because NXT is now the one everybody's looking at. Let's face it. Nobody's competing against Raw. Nobody's no. competing against SmackDown. But they're competing against NXT. I so we have to put all concentration on NXT. Curious, as a three-week trial, if you put AEW on Monday nights, just out of curiosity, just to see what happens. I think it would be an interesting it, thing. 
And you know what? They, they, they could do that for one or two weeks by saying it's because of the NBA playoffs. They could. Yeah, like, <laughs> they really I could. I just want to see them mess with WWE's lifeblood. Just just for a little bit. Like, My yeah. man. You're good. Hell Interrupt up, my fucking show. You know what? You're such a dick. Is, uh, it, that, is it that veggie whopper? Yeah. Well, you know. But, uh, yeah. But no, but what we were saying, what we were saying, Chuck, is that uh, Johnny said it would be very interesting, and they won't do it. But it would be very interesting is with the NBA playoffs and stuff like that. If they sat there and said, "Oh yeah, because of the NBA playoffs, AEW's got to go on Monday night," oh, and, go head, and go head to head against Raw and see what it would do, and see if there would be any kind of conversion over. Because right now, what I said was there is no competition for Raw at all. There is no competition for SmackDown. The only competition is NXT. And as no. soon as that happened, we're seeing a more of a WWE overwhelming, like, We all forget Monday Night Football is about to start, too. Yeah. yeah. Let's, yeah. let's and also... And they are not poised to keep viewers. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so let me also throw this stat out there. That um, NXT, on one, uh, they moved um, Wednesday night. They were on Wednesday. Okay. They did, they did eight... Uh, 855,000 uh, viewers, okay? So they wow. had a good night. Yeah. A AEW on Saturday did like 750,000 viewers. Yeah. So, so that's a good thing and a bad thing. It's a good thing because AEW did solid on a night that they weren't supposed to be on. And on a Saturday. Watch. On a Saturday. Saturday. But, but they also yeah. had a, a super competitive a huge... NBA game as a lead-in. Right, yeah. that's true. Yeah. Here, here's the negative, and this is what kind of concerns me as a wrestling fan. Yeah. Both of those shows were unopposed by the other show. Why wasn't that rating 1.5 million or higher? And um, yes, the, the, what what that tells me, and, and I could be wrong, but what I see when I see that is that you're not sharing the audience. NXT fans watch NXT. AEW fans watch, watch AEW. AEW. You're yeah. not getting the guys that watch both, even though I DVR NXT and I'll fast forward through it. So that's kind of scary because if AEW ever did increase their audience and go head to head with raw i don't think you're gonna have a, a higher rating i think you're just gonna have the people watch AEW still watch it it's not gonna be like like you're, you don't have five million fans who are split between two shows you have two million fans watching raw one million fans watching AEW. that's not gonna change until I, the product gets better i agree they do have to find a way to grow their audience like Is it? they're at a nice place right now for a company that's been on tv for about eight or almost a year now mm -hmm. um, they just they have to figure out a way to to grow it and i, I yes. don't know how you do that but don't I you putting uh, out the toy line a couple weeks ago is is a way yeah. to kind of get some new eyeballs because the kids are going to go through your walmart and be like oh who's this he looks cool Let's but don't you think that comes with time you got to give them you got to give them three at least three years i agree yeah i think i think a video game would help too a video game would be Especially mm -hmm. if you're a video gamer like I am with with wrestling anyway, that the debacle the 2K20 was, if AEW can come out next year with a video game, that would be huge for them. Well, they and it obviously and it obviously has to incorporate building a wrestler, building an arena because I think if you're going to compete with the wrestling games nowadays, it's face yeah. it. Aside from that they're new retro, the no, they're game, using the No Mercy engine, right? Not Nintendo yeah. 64. Yeah. The yeah, one that was so successful. Now, now keep in mind if they, aside from that retro mania, that's supposedly coming out. I, I do, I can't wait for that. And I will actually sit down and play wrestling. I think I it's do. already out. Is it out yet? I, I wasn't sure if it was out yet or not. But something like that, like, it wouldn't be good for a brand new product. But that's a niche product. This this product has to be on par with that WWE game. Right. It definitely has to be. And I think having that and be able to build, maybe build a championship. Can you build championship belts? You yes. can, right? Well, yeah. Dude, watch, watch my yeah. channel, man. I have all the championships. I have all the rings. I have all the shows. Got Mark 76. Got Mark 76. So so check it the out. big question is, is Way Cool Jr. able to live out his wet dreams throughout <laughs> all of the video games? I was on yes. WWE Raw. He actually on WWE charged. Raw on, on Xbox, I was able to, yes. But I hear and it's I very realistic, and you look at the lights every match. What do you have to say, true or false? <laughs> They're blinding, blinding. 
And now you'll I'm be able to take a splash from Joey Janela in a game. <laughs> I, yeah, instead of in real life, I know. I think really. we've seen that picture once or a hundred times. <laughs> right. or a thousand or a thousand, times. Yeah. A thousand times, you know. <laughs> hey, I worked Janela. It is. Hey, hey, you worked him all right. I worked him real well. <laughs> I was a reach around. Um, I let him. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool because now he's you working. Guys, with, now he's working with Sunny Kiss. He's working with Sunny Kiss now. You're doing uh, shit like you that. Guys, you You're guys. on a roll today, Charles. You guys. <laughs> Charles All right, is, uh, hey, next listen. up on the cancel culture. Yeah. All right, in closing, what yeah. does WWE need? Start with Mark. What do they need to do? Yes. yes. What do they need to do? Look, I said they go to you, Mark. They go to you, Mark, and they say, Mark, fix this, please. Go ahead. Okay. So, what I do is I just, I, I said it earlier, I'm going to wrap it up in a nice bow. You're going to use social media to your advantage, not to your disadvantage. You're going to have these storylines make, you're going to have the same thing on Twitter that you have on, on the show because people are not stupid. They will go on the internet, they will see Twitter, they will go on wrestling websites and see tweets of Randy Orton slapping his thigh, making fun of the Young Bucks or making fun of whoever. Use that in your storylines. Have Randy Orton come out and say, you know what, I don't like you because you do all this finesse and, and, and you don't wrestle like I wrestle. I'm a wrestler. You're a sports entertainer. Ugh, Just take the... Sleep with take, Randy. Yeah, well, that's mm. fine. Yeah. In, insert name here. What I'm saying is you take the social media and you use it to your benefit. You don't use yeah. it because you're going to have fans like us be like, why is he doing that? We just saw on Twitter he said this and that. Now he's not even honoring that. He's just breaking down it. people that work for the same damn company. It doesn't make any that's sense. That's exactly right. right. So, like, right. so turn it into a storyline. And yeah. then that way you're like, wait a second. This is real. Randy said yeah. that on Twitter. Randy said that on Twitter. Now he's getting, oh my, wait a second. And have Chompa come up on Raw and beat the piss out of him. That, right, that's and, right. have, and literally have it be an orchestrated shoot. Have it yeah, be an yes. orchestrated of shoot. Of course, exactly. man. It's not going to be like a work. To, to oh, circle yeah. back to what Mark said earlier about Matt Hardy and Edge. Have Chompa yeah. come out of the crowd. Like, he can't wait to get his, or have him come out of the Thunderdome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bust it out of the fucking screen. And yeah. I'm gonna wrap it oh, up. man, that would be awesome. Before you move that. on to Charles or Bob, let me just wrap, also wrap it up. That um, Bob made a great point earlier, which was what I was trying to say. Bob just summed it up nicer. AEW has to build their audience. Guess what? Raw doesn't have to build. They have their audience. When they put on a good product, people will tune in to watch Raw. Yep. We need people to tune in to watch AEW. So I, I'm a big fan of AEW. They, they've hit some home runs. They've hit some singles along the way as well. But mm -hmm. Let's just not go ballistic for them and start stroking yeah. their ego too much they have a lot of work to do but um they need to continue what they're doing they're they're different i watch aew and they, my intelligence is not insulted i can enjoy aew even when they do stupid shit i can enjoy it because okay that didn't really hit but at least they tried something different sunny kiss comes to mind um yeah. so like i can give them credit for trying things and being a little bit out of the box if Raw thought outside the box and didn't change the Raw lineup an hour before they started filming, yeah. then they actually stuck with stuff and let it fail. Because, look, in my real life, my job, I learn from my mistakes. Yeah. How do you learn from your mistakes in wrestling if you don't allow them to make a learning missing. moment? That, that's, so, yeah. so what I would do to change Raw is I would just don't be afraid to fail. Look, your ratings are in the shitter anyway. So what's it going to matter if you have a bad rating one week and you take, okay, you know what? That didn't get over like it should have. Let's modify it a little bit and try this. Exactly. That's all you got to do. All right, how about try this? Try new people. Uh, that's what I was about to say with Bob. <laughs> try, try new people. Vince needs a, to, to back off. He's, he just needs to back off. Um, you're still the man, whatever. I get it, this, that, and other thing. He needs to back off, let these new ideals Mm-hmm. Oh. Vince got to him. See that? <laughs> Vince, oh, cut the feed. Vince, yeah. cut the feed. Vince cut the feed. No, they feed it. They get some of these older guys to help these younger guys. <laughs> <laughs> let these guys, let these guys, like, in their promos, be more realistic, be more themselves. Yeah. Themselves. Like you said, Keith Lee, 
if you're gonna fight someone, I'm gonna be like, yo, bitch, it's on. You know, it ain't, ain't gonna be all that talking. Like if I'm gonna slap Danny in the face, I'm not gonna walk up and tell him. I'm just gonna slap him in the mouth. You've done you know, it a things, lot. You know, things like that, and like, just, yeah. Yeah. just Very let cool. let let workers be workers. Yeah, well, you're that'll right. help. That'll help stop like the lasers and all that shit. Gotta go. Cut it down. Let it be in the ring. Let them tell the story in the ring. That's just the bottom line. Can we also add in one more thing? I'm sorry. Is that if you have an audience full of developmental talent like Raw and SmackDown do, yeah. you cannot allow them to scream, this is awesome. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. And banging on the hockey glass. Yeah. <laughs> jo Johnny, what will you do? So for me, I'm just going to keep it brief and short because the answer is simple. Vince has got to die. Right. Damn. And, and there you go. Like, I don't I don't wish death on Damn. him. Damn. But as long as he's alive, he's gonna be sticking. He's not gonna let control though. Yeah, he's you're gonna right. be sticking his finger in the pot and stirring it up. You're right. Yep. I, I just right. I don't think he can help himself. It's his baby, which you know, if I was in his position, I'd be doing the same thing. Right. Yep. But he, he's also got himself surrounded with yes men like Pritchard and Dunn, who oh yeah, boss, that's great, boss. What, what, what else can yeah. we do, boss? Well, shit, they want to get paid the rest of their life, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, Pritchard's, Pritchard's been on the ins and outs for years. Yeah. But um, that that's my answer. I, I hate to say it. It sounds very callous. I don't wish that to happen. But, mm -hmm. you know, until he goes, there's, there's really no hope for change. Because I thought to myself, and I had this conversation with Mark a while ago, like, what could they – like, I just – I can't get it up for WWE anymore. And I don't know what it would take to get me there. All right, so for me, it, considering it's a sports entertainment company, right? And I'm going to use this as an example. Uh, Impact Wrestling, which is next to nothing at this point, does sports entertainment. They tried for two weeks. They really tried, right? <laughs> now, the funny thing is I, I saw a large amount of talent come in. Motor City Machine Guns, uh, Heath Slater, a bunch of people, right? And then and Guns and Gallows. So I reactivated my DVR for that show. I watched the show. I then deactivated my DVR because it was a horrible, horrible episode of, of, of wrestling, right? And with sports entertainment, the, what was happening with Impact Wrestling, which is what happened to me with WWE, is that the show is boring. And I think we all have said that. It's boring. I'm not getting excitement out of it. What we do get out of AEW is for 90% of the time, excitement there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of fights happening there's flips and flops and all kinds of shit happening like it's something like wow 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 is what we're saying all the time, right so i would definitely dial up the wrestling on whatever show you want to consider if it's nxt or whatever dial up the wrestling so that way we're bringing excitement back in there because there has to be less talk more action there, there really has to be as far as thunderdome is concerned Blow the setup. I would have somebody hack that shit, right? And then all the all the Thunderdome start to go off, blink off one by one, and then all of a sudden all the screens turn into one person. They and should just like, take advantage of Antifa and, like, and get rid of it. It's like it's like evil it's like evil Uno or <laughs> something like that. Yeah, Retribution. There you go. And, yeah. Have there them actually have them hack Thunderdome and like it, instead of it being all this separate everybody goes off one by one. And but, all they all become one big screen, and it's them. But retribution is, is nothing but dark order, so we all know this. Already. That's yeah. all it is. Yeah, yeah. A aces and five foot eighters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I read that, I, I started laughing I'm still out loud about that. <laughs> aces and five foot eighters. Oh my god, <laughs> right, guys! Man. I don't know. It's going to be. I mean, we we could say this all we want, but I mean, obviously, the guys, the powers that be, do what they want. And could you say this is the wrestling lull? Because you know it comes up and down, up and down, up and down. This is a pretty deep lull for wrestling. It's never been this bad before, in in a sense. It's Thank a God AEW's WWE, out there. WWE, not wrestling. I mean, but for, well, let's say let's put it this way too. If AEW was not around, I think a lot of people would not be watching wrestling. Period. The mm -hmm. of this. I agree. I agree. I really do agree. If the only thing you had on television was that, and you had to go on YouTube to go find something, the sporadic people would go on YouTube and find wrestling somehow. But otherwise, I think it would be back to Bob's Burgers and 
American Dad or whatever other show you want to watch because you're like, hey, I'm getting at least more excitement with Rick and Morty than I am with WWE or whatever the case sure. is. So, I mean, you know, they're going to do something. They'll still be around. I don't, I don't ever see the WWE going out of business. I don't ever see that. If they keep going corporate like they did Fox, they will. Yep. Because I think mm -hmm. it sucks. You know? Well, think, well, they're gonna go they, are, they are one offer away from selling to like Amazon. Disney. Yep. They're gonna sell to yep. Disney. Disney came up in the past. Yep. Mm -hmm. like, now, if, this, now that would be an interesting if, thing, though. If where Triple H takes over, if an outside, if an outside company takes all, over the WWE, all, all PG then. Oh they yeah, what? Are. They are PG. <laughs> no, yeah. it'd be, it'd be we're gonna go G. back to the we're gonna go back to the goon, Doink the clown. Yeah. 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 What, well, guys, way, way cool junior, shit like that. Yeah. I'll be your star. I'll be your world champ. I'll hold all the belts. Man, what happened? Women's title and all. Senior was just a legend. He was. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Yeah, I mean, second generation, pal. Yeah, you are the Curtis Axel. Your I'm friend. the Curtis Axel. <laughs> wow. Wow. On wow. that note, <laughs> for Mad Mark Lindsay. For Johnny McIntyre, make sure you check him out on the, That Way Cool Wrestling Show Breakout every week. Does a weekly rate recap of everything. For Charles Gemini, Gregory, my Peace. name is Danny J. Until next time, we'll see you at the matches. Goodbye, everybody. The proceeding was produced by DJB Productions. Go to www.thatwaycoolwrestlingshow.com.